All right, so guys, today our lesson is on objective summaries. How to identify an objective summary and also how to write an objective summary. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at a PowerPoint that tells us about objective summaries. So remember the Skittles where I asked you to tell me how many Skittles are in the jar? And you made a prediction. Your prediction was a subject, sub, subjective statement. My actual numbers was an objective statement. And then you asked for your favorite color. You tell me your favorite color. That was a subjective statement. So we want to see what an objective summary has in it. First, it focuses on just the central ideas. It's short, four to five sentences max. You might have six sentences depending on how long the article is. It is important that it is written in your own words. You want to omit minor details, and here's what's important. An objective summary does not contain opinions. It's not what you think. Stereotypes or biases. What they mean by stereotypes or biases, you don't want to include in your objective summary like um, all boys are athletic or girls only want to fix their hair and never play sports. That would be a stereotype. So you want to stay away from that. And a bias just means that you have a strong um, feelings about something and you just want to keep those strong feelings out of an objective summary. So you need to name it. So if possible, if you know the title and the author, then you're going to name it. In the article SpaceX by Adrian Zimbauer, and then you're going to try to use a verb that tells me what the author was telling you. Did the author show you something? Describe? Did the author explain? Did they discuss? Did they list something? Did they teach you something? Did they compare something? And then your central idea of the whole article or passage and then major details to support it. No minor details. So remember, we have it color coded. Name it is in blue. Verbit is in red, your central idea is in black, and then your details are going to be in green. So an example, the article Take a Stand by Jean Lewis describes Rosa Parks' feelings on the day that she was arrested. When Rosa refused to give a seat on the bus to a white man, she was arrested. Neither old nor tired, as some assume, 42-year-old Rosa was simply fed up with the way she had been treated. So what should you not have in an objective summary? You do not want to have any quotes. So you're not citing text evidence in an objective summary. You do not want to have exact words from the text. You have to put everything in your own words. And you got to leave out your opinions or your suggestions. And you have to leave out minor details. Stick to the major ideas. So how do you choose details to support your main idea? So if you have an article that doesn't have subheadings, you want to choose um, important details at, from the beginning, middle, and end. Maybe one or two details from the beginning, one or two from the middle, one or two from the end. But if your article does have subheadings, like ours is going to have today, then choose essential details from the introduction. So you would choose a detail from this introduction. And then from the main idea from each subheading. So in the subheading, the man on a mission, you would give me the main idea of that one. That's where your hashtag summaries come in handy that I had you write on on Monday. Um, the main idea of mission possible. Mission possible is kind of long, so you might have two main ideas. And then a main idea for a mission for the future. Remember, no minor details, only major details. So let's look at this example. The poem, The Highwayman by Alfred Noyes, teaches that true love often results in sacrifice. So I'm stopping right there. They tell me the poem, the title, and the author, and they used a verb, teaches. And they gave me the main idea. The highwayman loves Bess, as we see when he says, one kiss my bonnie sweetheart, and then he makes her a promise to return to her. After his hunt for gold is over, when he says, watch for me by moonlight. 
I'm going to pause and stop right here because I automatically know it does not fit the requirements. It started off great, but then they're citing text evidence. They're giving me quotes and they're giving me word for word what was in the poem. That's a no-no. So this paragraph does not fit the requirements because they are citing text evidence. We want to, and then the last sentence says, I was shocked he did this. This again is your opinion. You have to have no personal opinion when you write an objective summary. So let's see if I was right. We, it does not fit it because it had quotes from the text. We don't want to cite. They had exact words from the text. You'd put everything in your own words. It has opinions, leave those out. And it had minor details. We want to stick to the main ideas. All right, so that is the slideshow. This slideshow is also in your assignment for today. So what we're gonna do now is look at the assignment for today. Okay, so your assignment is in Canvas. And when you go to this week or you go to modules, you're gonna click on week six and you're gonna scroll down to Wednesday. And you're gonna find the lesson that says objective summaries. You're gonna click on it. It's going to give you directions. It's telling you to watch the video that you should be doing already. And it's going to, once you open your assignment, you're gonna have an article and something to do with it. So when you open your assignment, you're gonna get this right here. And your assignment has two parts, it has two slides. So it says, which paragraph is the best example of an objective summary? Option A or option B? Type the letter here in the colored box. So you have to read both paragraphs and then you have to ask yourself from um, One Child Policy, Little Emperors that we read last week, which one is an objective summary? So you would write either the letter A or B in this box. You would type it in. After you read those and you type in it, you're going to go to your second slide. And it says write your objective summary for the article Space X. Refer to the PowerPoint on how to write an objective summary if needed. So that PowerPoint is in your canvas. It's in your objective summaries assignment. If you forgot what you needed to include, look at this one again. Remember when you have subheadings, so you're naming the title and author and what the main idea of the passage is, and then you're giving me a main idea for every subheading. So one sentence, you might need two sentences for the subheading Mission Possible because it is longer, and a main idea for Mission for the Future. Once you've submitted, once you've done both these slides, make sure you click to the, go back to the blue box as the check mark and click submit. Now, when you are done with this lesson and you've um, written your objective summary, you need to go back to the modules page and you need to make sure you are completing everything under Wednesday. So, you should be doing the objective summary lesson. When you're done with that, you should be going to the class novels directions and reading and doing what it says there. I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you later.